Yo, what's up beautiful people? Thank you so much again for stopping by to the team of Brian. If you're new to our channel, do it as we do it. Can you do subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button, like our videos, press that like button. It's like this. <laughs> yeah, that is the only way you would support us. Of course, comment down in the comment section, guys, and I'm really going to appreciate. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 16,000 subscribers. Yeah, we are on our road to 17,000 subscribers. Let me say 20,000 because I know you guys are going to serve me justice. Like, I really do appreciate for that kind of support. I really, really do appreciate. So, guys, in our today's video, this is a video I've been uh, thinking of doing for the last two months. But I'm like, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. But at the end of it, I get that I've not done it. Guys, I want to advise some people, a group of people, yeah? These are the people who have come to Qatar to work purposely for FIFA and their contract is three months to six months. Most of them are male, you know, people, male, uh, male gender here, yeah. <laughs> let me say that. So most of them are male gender and they are being given this visa to work either security cleaners, um, uh, customer service, I'm not sure. They are being given this six months or coffee, you know, all these things that have been given this three months, mostly three months to six months. And the majority of them are in security and there are a lot of people. Guys, I feel like uh, this is something that should be communicated well to everybody to understand and know that how Qatar is and how these rules are. The visa you are carrying will expire on January, depending on when you came. Maybe if you came on uh, October, like now, or last, year, on, or last month, that is on uh, September, you have up to January 23rd. Most of them have, for the higher cards, they have up to January 23rd. For you guys, you have up to January 23rd. A lot of people have hopes, and that is what... I want to first give you hope and give you reality. I think I will give you reality, then I will give you hope. The reality part of it is that after your visa has expired or your your contract also has expired, you will go home. That one, you have to be very ready. You have to be very... <laughs> how can I say that? You have to be very prepared for that, guys, because you're going home after your visa expires and after your contract expires. You're going home there. So, you may be here because I've talked to some individuals and they're like, oh, I have this visa. They don't even know the type of visa they're holding. First of all, if you came to Doha recently, check your visa. Which visa are you holding? You may be holding a three-month visa and a three-month contract. Check that. Another thing, a lot of people are like, Oh, of course, I will hide around, you know, get a job and all those things and everything's going to move smoothly. Things are going are not going to be that easy because you will have three months, maybe an extension of up to three to two to three months. That is an extension. Then after that, it will be a violation. You will be fined monthly. I think it's monthly or monthly. You'll be fined monthly. So if you extend like two months, three months, you'll be fined. So... How sure you are going to get a job like within this short period of time? So guys, make sure you just leave. If you are told you have not changed your visa, because, okay, let, let me go back. There are ways that you can make it. If you get a company that is willing to hire you and your company that brought you here is willing to change the sponsorship, you will stay in the country. But three months is a shorter pe uh, you know, period. I, I'm not sure about that. If you will get like that company, maybe they like you or you, you've you not given out some skills that they really want, they may decide to retain you. Yeah, for that, they will renew your visa and you'll continue staying in the country. Maybe you'll sign a new contract, you know, all those, all those things. Because the salary you guys came with it, like 3,000 salary for security, and all, that's unrealistic. It only happens if you are coming for that short period of time. The salary is normally from 1,500 to 2,500 Qataria. I'm just telling you reality. I'm not, you know, demoralizing anybody. So if you, you know, the company will like you and they will like to retain you, maybe you'll sign a new contract and you will, you know, continue staying in the country. Another thing, if, um, yeah, that is the only two options. Either you get another company that is willing to, you know, uh, transfer your sponsorship or if your country decide to retain you or just look for a job if they promise like they are going to send you a visa go home and come back so what is my solicited advice to you guys unsolicited advice first don't stay in the country if the visa expires just you know go on they will give you a ticket go back home and plan yourself second the salary you're getting is so good 3,000 others 3,500 save that money use it to pay an agency to come back Third, 
the three months that she'll be here, I don't lazy, you know. I know, I know a lot of things are happening. You're going for, you know, serious training, serious en engagement. I know, I understand that. But any free time you get, try to create connection. Try to, you know, send your v CVs to these companies. I told, I told you some uh, recruitment companies that you can approach. Get a job before leaving or get a promise. Like somebody will promise you a job, you know, sign an offer. Let's say the moment you go, I'm going to send you a visa back. Those are the three options that I can tell you. The sad part of it, those who are want to popularly known as Kemboy, those who want to run away or Kemboy, that's how we call it if you're Kenyan. Guys, I cannot advise you that, especially for male. When a woman says, you cannot Kemboy, it will be so difficult for you. For ladies, you can get a house, you know, a house. A house job, a house, it's called what? A house manager job. She can stay in the house for eight or six months. Mengine, but I am not advising any girl for that. For male, you have to work outside and it's so difficult without an ID and the right documentation. So guys, for the three months to six months visa, this is your advice to you guys. I've, I really wanted to talk to you like this, but I felt like maybe it would sound, you know, offensive, but I don't want it to sound like that, guys. It's just an advice from me, and I wish you take it. Thank you so much, guys, and um, take it keenly, guys. If you have any question, ask me down in the comment section, and I'm going to, you know, try so much to answer. See you in our next video.